coming to you live with another one. All right, guys. Well, we made it. Welcome to January 1st, 2024. Your wisdom message for January 1st is we need wisdom to live fully. And that wisdom comes from God. Now, if you appreciate and admire affirmations daily, you can visit my video lineup if you would like to read this message here. There will be a message for you daily on my channeled video lineup. All right, guys, so this year in numerology is an eight year. Now, last year was a seven year. We had a lot of tripping up, and in turn, it pointed to ourselves to go within and look to fix the challenges in our lives, thus leaving an empty space for this year ahead, which is an eight year, which brings us power and our motivational skills. Now, this changes our whole mindset. So if you have closed up some chapters in your life, and with that, I am highlighting the world here and the world I want to say as what comes around goes around um, I feel that you have danced your dance and you're willing to sing your song now that you have danced with the elements all coming together in closing chapter year seven now in the numerology of the number eight this message is of power and it makes us spring and to set out those those goals that last year we thought were unattainable. Now, we do have the qualities that it takes at this point, which brings us a sense of capability. And this allows for your spiritual mindset to grow. You are realizing that your success is obtainable and you will receive recognition from your accomplishments. There's been an enlightenment the last few years coming in and it's all brought you to this precipice of powerful change. And this is going to embed in our thoughts and in our minds and it's going to heighten our status because of the beneficial qualities of the number eight they are rarely diluted even when some or all of the negative aspects that we have obtained we are going to go above and beyond these measures so guys wow we have some powerful change coming in let's see what the tarot has for us to focus upon and guys let's pray I know I invite most highest loving possible angels to help me to tune into your love, guidance, frequency, and messages. And so it is. This is going to be a reading for the collective. Please allow me to channel the most accurate and present messages available, Spirit. We love and thank you for your guidance. And so it is, my loves. Oh, 
Okay, first card up. The Hanged Man. Okay, so the Hanged Man came up in the reverse position, which is a great position because hanging upside down, you cannot see the light of day. You cannot see anything and your spiritual mind is is rather clogged. Okay, but in the upright position, you're seeing things with enlightenment. So your, I want to say your intuition is is gathering information to move you forward. Okay, it's not asking you to let go because we let go last year and five 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 was on the time or as I said that let's keep going okay look at this ten of pentacles what this is enjoying the outcome of everything that you've worked so hard to change in your life tens are about attainment guys completion obtaining what we ch what was challenging us then we have the ace of swords and here comes the clarity stepping in above and beyond it all okay so the truth in the matter is coming forward right aces are all about new beginnings now the seasons, as they change, may have some effect on you, okay? So I want you to be aware of that, especially this winter, okay? Or the winter coming up is going to allow you, let's see, oh, wow, to have your wish fulfilled. And I want to say that with all the work you've done, the challenges ahead, there you're a truth seeker. And you are standing in truth. You're being honorable, dedicated to yourself. Nines are about you've almost reached that plateau for the sense of completion ahead. Okay? And... Because this is the final stage of all the cycles and numbers, you must be contained within its stuff. Also, you need to lie the seeds of a new beginning, okay? So they can take root. This is going to be a lot of uh, selflessness obtained on your part. The magician. See, I told you, you have all of the tools in your arson to manifest your desires for the coming for the coming year. You can't get any better than relying on oneself to get you through and obtaining the skills that it takes to move forward into a truthful, healthful direction in life. Oh, look. Now, this is a loving forward movement. Okay, so you're actually putting your love into yourself. Now, you might get a romantic... You might get a romantic offer from a earth sign now this is going to be someone who's rooted and rounded okay and learning just as well as you do from the wisdom and the experience that they're requiring wow guys we have a fabulous year ahead and I'm ending with the card the queen of pentacles with the Midas touch Guys, I hope we all stand in our power this year. Namaste.